Hey, hello there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's prediction covers July 15th to the 21st of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. To enter to win, press that notification bell and comment, and you're automatically entered to win. I have shuffled, meditated over, and blessed this reading just for you, Aries. Your first card, it's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background of the question. It is the Wheel of Fortune, number 10 of the Major Arcana. The Wheel of Fortune, this is a major change in life. This is fate and chance and opportunity. It's going to be some kind of unexpected turn of luck. It's putting your plans into motion and getting results. And you'll be taking advantage of good timing. It is a change of fortune for the better. As the wheel turns, life changes. Things never stay the same. Events are going to turn around in some fashion. And it's a new run of luck could be a surprise gift from life. But change is inevitable. It is a karmic lesson. It's something that has to be learned here. You're going to become unstuck. It is something that had already been set into motion. And this door opens and good floor fortune comes in. So go with that flow. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. It's occurring now. It is the death card. Number 13 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Number 13, the death card. That's another major change. It's renewal and transformation. And you might feel like this run of luck is kind of bad luck. It's just what you're feeling. But don't worry, it's going to turn out OK. It's some kind of destruction, and then renewal. It's an ending, something you have to let go of. It's new life and new opportunities. And this release that you have to make, it may be painful. It is a transition. You do have to let go and look for a new path. It could be a change in your job or relationship or a long-standing belief, or a new idea, but it is a new chapter in life. Your third card, it's how it affects you. It's the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, Aries. It's making you feel like you have to hold on to your money and you wanna be defensive and just stay around in your comfort zone. It, it may be giving you a fixed attitude which can block you, that would block new opportunities. You're thinking you need to be save, saving and stable. You're cautiously protecting your money and boundaries. The advice, again, is to go with the flow because your foundation is firm. So try not to be stubborn and be generous in your wealth and spirit. Your fourth card, it's the future outcome, it's the results, the advice, or how to respond. It's another major card, the 11, the justice card. It's a major arcana card in the Rider weight deck number 11. That has to do with balance and legal matters. It's also the Libra card. It stands for karma. And so is the wheel card. So whatever's happening, you won't be able to stop it, and it's a major thing. It's already going to happen. There's this balance that just needs to be happening. It's, it's a required thing. If you're in a lawsuit, it will be won. But you're striving for truth, and you need to trust divine order. So just be just. And your hard work, it really does matter. So deliberate 
calmly and carefully before you take some action. Be cautious. Rely on your inner self. You know, divine justice, it cuts through illusions and picks out the facts. And you do have the ability to tell right from wrong. And it's a reminder to always keep your promises. Your fifth card, it's the card that was on the bottom of the deck. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. It's the Ten of Cups. It stands for shared love, the Ten of Cups. It's a happy family life. It's contentment and lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's perfect human love. It's true love. It's better than you expected. You're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. So take time to be grateful. It's divine love and blessings, and it's fate and it's karma. Something to look forward to. Thank you so much, Aries. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I'm extremely grateful. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive, love and light. Thank you.